what's going on my toes as you guys know it's time for another video but today i'm not gonna have a photo i'm gonna do some voiceover with the video so today we do have something pretty interesting we're gonna go right into it so right now i'm just preparing the freezing we're gonna freeze this toe this is a very interesting case it's one of the first that i've seen this bad so what we have is a triple whammy a triple threat we have a thick damaged toenail we have a fungal toenail and then we also have warts that are growing underneath the toenail and to the side so this was a very complicated case we went through all the options on how to treat the warts how to treat the thickened nail and the fungal nail and what we decided to do was to take care of all three problems with one procedure so what we're doing today is we're numbing the toe so it's completely numb she doesn't feel anything we are going to surgically remove the warty tissue. I'm also going to remove the thickened, damaged fungal toenail. I'm going to use electricity uh, to kill any warty tissue left behind. And then I'm going to use a chemical called phenol to, again, make sure there's no warty tissue left behind. And then also apply that to the nail matrix. And that should hopefully stop the nail from ever growing back. The reason we decided to use phenol to stop the nail from growing back was the fact that the nail is permanently damaged. Anytime you have trauma to a nail, whether that's dropping something on the toe, wearing tight shoes, or even nail fungus, it can change the way the nail grows. So the fact that this nail is very thick, very discolored, it would grow back the exact same way after the procedure if we allowed it to grow back. So that's why we decided to permanently remove the nail so it never grows back so she never has to worry about this this formed this figured discolored nail again as you can see the toe is in pretty bad shape so it's a pretty uh, invasive procedure where there's going to be a lot of tissue being removed so caution to everyone who's going to be watching throughout the video i hope you guys enjoy it really interesting patients coming in uh, one or two weeks so i will have a nice video up for this one uh, so let's get to it Okay, so I'm gonna put on the good gloves and we're gonna get started, okay? So Tita, you relax. If you feel anything sharp, you just let me know. Okay, I'm just putting on a little of an elastic band around the toe, okay? This is to stop any sort of bleeding. The tourniquet is going to be very important in this procedure. Number one, warty tissue, full of little blood vessels, little black dots and it's going to bleed really easily when cut so if we uh, have a lot of blood in the area we're not going to see all the warty tissue properly so it's very very important there's little to no blood the second reason is we're going to be using a chemical called phenol to kill the nail matrix if there's too much blood it will dilute the acid and the acid will will not work and it's possible that we have a, re, a nail regrowth so it's very important whenever a nail surgery is done for an ingrown toenail or the removal of a nail there's very little to no blood so the chemical can work effectively and we have the result that we want <laughs> wow awesome that's good huh but anyway, Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, the bingo is good. They pay, uh, they have a very special price. How, how does bingo work? We're going to buy the, we're going to buy the, the ticket and there is a computer you have to put in on the computer. Yeah. And then the computer works. <laughs> So you, you, it's all luck, huh? Okay, we're doing a little test. Do you feel anything sharp here? No. Anything sharp here? No. Anything sharp here? No. Okay. So after making sure that I know the patient's completely numb, the first step is to separate the nail from the cuticle and the nail bed underneath using a special tool called a nail elevator or nail separator. Oh, 
Wow, I can't believe you won. You said you were gonna win, and you did. Did you watch any fireworks? Mm -hmm. Just watch my adversary. What's that? The PFC. Oh. <laughs> It's a very tough nail, Tita. With all that stuff growing underneath. Oof, poor you. After separating the nail from the nail bed and the surrounding tissue, I like to cut the nail in half, and that makes it a little bit easier for me to pull out each half of the nail instead of trying to tear out the whole nail in one piece. It also allows for a little bit less trauma to the area. So one little note, as you can notice this video, I'm a little bit more quiet with the patient. That's because I was really, really, really focused um, with this case. It was really unbelievable to see how much dead tissue, fungal debris, and warty tissue was hiding underneath this nail. So after removing half of the nail, I'm going to use my hemostat to try to remove as much as I can before having to do further trimming or cutting of that soft tissue. Well, at least you don't have to do anything major this weekend, uh, this week, right? You get to relax. Nothing. Just up there, we only have to attend a party, that's it. Okay. So that was a fail. I quickly saw that it was way too hard for me to pull out any of the tissue with the hemostat. So after a quick decision, I realized the best thing to do is to trim down as much of this extra uh, dead tissue, it's mostly warty tissue, and then go to the scalpel to kind of scoop everything out and clean it out properly. When is the party? Saturday. Oh, next Saturday? He's coming Saturday. Oh yeah, you're gonna be fine. What is the healing period for the one? It all depends on you, but usually because it's just the toe, you just will be using a band-aid. Okay. And you should be okay. Even though I'm diabetic? Even though you're diabetic. We're gonna give you of course the antibiotics to be safe. This morning I took my blood sugar and it is good. It's six point one. Before it is always 10, 11. Woo! You made it good for me today, huh? That's good. Okay. This is a big, big, big wart. No pain? No. That's good. Almost done? Almost done. One down, one side done. And we do the next side. So 
So that one you already scraped the skin? And the wart, one side, yeah. Mm -hmm. The really interesting thing about warts is that they're encapsulated in this firm, rubbery uh, substance. So they do not go deeper than the top layer of skin. So all we need to do to remove them is kind of score around the warty tissue and then use some sort of curette or scooping tool to pull the warty tissue off of the bottom layer of skin. Uh, that way it just really comes out in one piece. We can see very clearly if there's any warty tissue left behind. Uh, and the goal after we remove that kind of encapsulated tissue is just scrape down the remaining tissue around just to make sure there's nothing left behind. After that's done, we normally apply some sort of electrocautery or chemical cautery to kill any remaining warty tissue left behind. Other side's done. So now I'm just cleaning everything up, Tita. Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning everything up now. Uh -huh. Then we apply the acid and then we're all finished. So you already removed also the wart? Yes. So the so, so the, the nails will not grow anymore. No more. Okay, good. I have a problem with that because you know ever since I have that, I was not able to wear a nice shoes. It is always, you know, a comfortable shoes, but it's ugly. Yeah, I understand. And uh, sometimes I, I don't even want to go out know, dancing. Yeah. yeah. And you're Filipina, you have to dance. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm a good dancer, even I'm... though I'm fat. No, no, don't <laughs> say that, Tita. Don't say that. So just cleaning everything up before we start applying the acid, okay? That wasn't so bad, huh? No. Okay. Now that I feel comfortable that I've removed as much of the warty tissue that was present, now I'm going to be applying electrocautery to just damage any remaining wart tissue. Uh, as you can see, there's still very little to no blood at all. This has allowed me to really make sure I can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, we apply just a light layer of electrocautery to the warty tissue. Uh, I try to avoid the nail bed. Uh, we're going to be using the chemical to go over the warty area and then apply that to the nail matrix to stop any sort of nail from growing back. Now we apply the acid and then we'll finish, okay? okay. Was that bad? No. If you guys have ever seen my other ingrown toenail surgeries, you'll know it's the exact same technique that I use during those procedures. I'm using a chemical called phenol that will kill the nail matrix and stop the nail from ever growing back. It will also damage any soft tissue uh, that it comes in contact with. So I'm applying a, a layer over the warty tissue just to try to make sure nothing comes back after this treatment. Awesome, we're doing really, really well. It wasn't so bad, was it, Tita? No, it's not. No. Hardest was the needle, right? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know after. We'll see, but again, the freezing is going to last 10, sometimes 12 hours. Okay, so, so you're going to give me a pain, pain reliever or what? No, just extra strength Tylenol. Okay. And, and then for the antibiotics? I'm going to write you a prescription. Okay. Is it covered by... Usually it should, be, it? should be covered by your drug plan. Whether it's o or OHIP. OHIP pays for over 65, right? Yeah, I'm already 67. Oh. Okay, so you're going to give me an Okay. Hold on, Tita. Is it not me, Nana? No. You want to see? Is the nail removed? Yep, nail's gone. How come it looks like? That's the nail bed. And then the wart removed? Mm-hmm. There we go. The wart's removed on the side. It will not grow. No more. So this will all become smooth. Smooth, smooth. And I will dress that tomorrow? Yes, what? yes. Hey, my husband. Hello. Uh, tapos na, pag dito pa ako, hindi na bandage na lang. Nasaan ka? Ay, hindi ka aakyat? <laughs> hindi naman. Ah, sige, mababaan na lang ako. Nasa harapan ka, ha? Oh, Ang simple. My husband. Okay. Look at the, the nails here. Big. Ah, yeah. Me. Okay, this is the nail, and this is the wart. What? Can I have that? I'm gonna show it. Okay. You want to? <laughs> okay, let me take a few pictures of it and then you can take it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. Another procedure done. Here is a picture of what we've removed. So what we have in the middle is the damaged, thickened, fungal toenail. You can see it's split in half. The lower piece of the nail, where it's a little bit clear and white, that would be where the new nail is being formed near the nail matrix. You can see the right piece of the nail at the very tip was very, very thick, a little bit of some yellow stuff underneath. The nail was also bothering her because it was becoming thickened and disformed in her shoe, causing a lot of discomfort. So she was really happy to have that gone. Now, on either side of the nail, we can see the large warty pieces, the capsules or encapsulated tissue that I removed. These were the main pieces of tissue that I clipped off, but there was a lot more that I scooped up and pulled out. So I get all my surgical patients to come back after one week uh, just to make sure that the healing's happening as it should be that there's no signs of infection, that the pain level is manageable, and that the person's taking care of it properly. So here's a picture one week post-procedure. So what I see is a pretty healthy wound. It's red, it's not covered by some yellowish film or pus. 
Um, I do see the deep pockets on the side have filled up a little bit, so it is closing up to the surface. To me, does not look infected, it looks healthy, but again, toes pretty swollen, and it was quite sore for the patient for the first three to four days. It wasn't until day five uh, to, to now that she could really be okay wearing a closed toe shoe. So because of the extent of damage um, and, and trauma due to the, the pulling, how much tissue was removed, and the acid, this was a little bit more of an extensive healing process than normal. There's still a lot more to go, but to me, this is healthy. She is a diabetic, so sometimes the healing does take a little bit longer. She's going to continue to be using a uh, topical antibiotic cream probably for one more week, and then we switch to an ointment to help dry out the area, and then we just wait for the scab to form. So hopefully she's coming in soon uh, so we can get a picture to see how the healing process uh, has continued and hopefully that everything is completely healed as uh, she's happy and it, the toes looking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This time was a little bit more voiceover with the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit more. I have the pictures for that last video I posted of the of the girl who had reoccurring ingrown toenails with many unsuccessful treatments. Toe is looking very good. I'm excited to show you guys the update on that. Thank you guys for everything. I am so appreciative of all the love and support. I'm going to keep doing these videos. You guys keep sharing them, liking them, commenting, and let's keep going from here, guys. Take care. Tobro out.